Hello, it's Mark from Cars and Cameras, and today we're going to take a look at the new Mac Studio and compare it against the base model Mac Mini M1. These are both base models, so I really wanted to see what the difference between if you got the base model of the Mac Mini or you got the base model of the Mac Studio, what they would do in a real-world editing test on Final Cut Pro and exporting it and really see, because they both edit really well, so the editing part, that works great. So let's go ahead and see what it does. So this is going to be a 4K clip that we're going to export out using the Mac Studio first and see what it can do. I'm really was curious to see, and I have to tell you, I wasn't blown away with this as I thought I would be. I really thought it would be a little bit faster, especially comparing it against the M1 Mac Mini. So let's go ahead and speed this up so we can get through it. Uh, but I have to say that I was not as impressed as I thought I would be. I mean, it's still fast, but you can see it tops out. It took two minutes and six seconds. Okay, so let's take the base model Mac Mini M1 and see what it can do. So let's do that same test and see what it takes to export. And this is a, a little over three minute clip uh, exporting it out and seeing what it can do. So here we go. And it's topping out at four minutes and 18 seconds, which is about twice as long. So, but I was really thinking, you know, with all the hype and everything that it was gonna be faster. Okay, so on this test, this is an 8K test using the um, M1 Mac Mini. And what we're doing here is we're exporting an 8K clip. It's over a hundred gigabytes and of 8K footage. And let's see how long it takes to export this. Now I know this might take a while. This is about a seven minute clip. So I'm curious how long it's gonna take to do this. And I'm really hoping when we get to the uh, new Mac Studio that it's gonna really crush the results of what we have on the um, M1 Mac Mini. So we're coming up to the 10 minute mark and it looks like nine minutes and 50 seconds to export that clip. Okay. So we're gonna do that same thing on now on the uh, Mac Studio. And as I said before, and I'll say it again, this is the base model, the $2,000 entry level model. And I'm really curious because, you know, this has 32 gigabytes of RAM. It has twice the storage that the M1 Mac Mini has. The M1 Mac Mini is only eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. Okay. Let's see what it can do. So I'm really hoping that it's gonna just crush it here. See, I really thought it would be finished by now. All right, so it took four minutes and 10 seconds. So what do we get out of all of this? Well, I have to say, it's about twice as fast. Is that twice as fast worth the upgrade in the price? Or if you already have an M1 Mac Mini and you're thinking about upgrading? It's a, it's a tough question because I think if you're editing 4K video, I would say no. I would say on the 8K video, well, you know, because you're waiting and it's, it is it is a little bit smoother, but they both do the job. That's the thing. They both do the job. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this test. If you like what you see here, be sure to give a thumbs up and have a wonderful day.